Hey, hey guys, how you doing today? My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music videos, and today I am going to be opening up. We got a loot crate, we got another box, and a couple mysteries for you all. So the loot crate unboxing is basically the feature presentation of this video. It's the anticipated, you know, uh, best part. So I'm gonna save that best part for last and we'll knock out the other uh, stuff here first. And that stuff is something I got in the mail from some eBay seller, yeah. And we have a GameStop bag here. Now, inside of the GameStop bag is two items that are exclusive to, you guessed it, GameStop. And uh, they are Batman Arkham, the Arkham series vinyl figures from Funko. Oh, and uh, Funko, little side note for you. Thanks for all the marketing ploys. You can insert your next one right there. Love the addiction. So if you guys watched my last two videos, they were about, you know, 20 minutes-ish in length. And uh, I tried to add some entertainment value. So that added some extra time. I'll just get right to the point with this video. Let's open up box number one. bunch of green stuff. It could be a good thing. Okay, here we have all oh, this friggin' cool. I'm so glad I got this. I forgot about it until this moment right now. This is this is great. This is really cool. It came out before I started collecting these things, so I didn't get to go hunt for, my, for it myself at Target. I had to buy it off of an eBay seller, which I got it at seriously the same price it would have cost me to spend the gas and drive to the store and get it myself, if it were available currently at the store. We have a Target exclusive Batman or Bruce Wayne, unmasked, completely cool, love it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know. What you think in the comments below this is very cool batman unmasked and uh for all of you guys that didn't know batman is bruce wayne so sorry for not giving a spoiler alert next we have the the minis the arkham knight minis which are gamestop exclusives so uh let's get these both unwrapped and unbagged and then we'll uh we'll see what's inside They are unwrapped. So, box number one. I like, seriously, all of these characters, so none of them will be a disappointment. Unlike our big, fat friend, Mr. Bohemoth. Okay. Mystery bag number one. Oh, that's so cool. We have Catwoman right here. And you know what? This is really cool. She's actually got nice, sharp little claws. And uh, oh, actually a lot of detail. There's actually a lot of detail on this. Pretty cool. We have number one, which is Catwoman. Box number two. 
awesome. The Dark Knight himself, guys. Batman. That's cool. Out of all the uh, different people that I could have got. Okay, well, there is three different Batmans, so. <laughs> but, um, well, actually, no, there's more. There's four or five or four. Whatever. I ended up getting one of them, so at least I lucked out on getting the character I wanted out of one of the many different mystery uh, minis that we got so far. And um, he's actually got some detail, too, so. Did I see that? He's pretty cool. GameStop exclusive, so obviously gotta go to GameStop to get them but you don't have to rush there because they're not limited and now for the feature presentation This is cool. We're greeted with this big giant eat blazing doorknobs of death banana face. This is by Qfig. It's a loot crate exclusive Deadpool figure. That is uh, pretty cool. Qfig is another uh, toy maker out there, kind of like Funko. But, uh,. I, I don't want to even look at their other characters that they might make because I don't need to be getting addicted to any more different types of anything. I don't know if he's like shitting fire or something, but he's like getting blasted out of somewhere or something's blasting out of him or maybe both. So this is the actual figure and you actually get to see a uh, comical representation of him in art form doing the same exact pose on the back of the box okay next in the box we have a shirt so i'm assuming this is a deadpool shirt the theme of this month's loot crate um it was like zombies or dead or death so this is what we got inside of the uh <laughs> upside down deadpool with uh they were tacos I wonder if this one fits. It fits! It fits! It fits! I'm really happy that these boxes are like, oh, Loot Crate is like now guaranteeing a shirt in every box. I think Funko even does that with their boxes. I'm glad they do that because even if you don't like the contents of the box, you're still getting a shirt, which is almost, if not the value of what you're paying for the whole box. Anyway, so, even if you feel like you got ripped off, technically, if you want to, you know, be exact about things, you're, pro you're pretty much not getting ripped off. You're, you're getting a shirt, so that's pretty cool. As we go into the next phase of our unboxing here, I want to bring up a point. Maybe this was intended for females. I don't know, but Deadpool's like looking down, referencing tacos. Let me know in the comments below if Deadpool really likes tacos so much because... They're representing something a little bit more vulgar. Okay, so we have a couple things here. I just want to take a snoopy inside. Oh crap, emptying the stuff out on the keyboard. Well, we have a Walking Dead, uh, Loot Crate exclusive, McFarlane Toys toy. We can get either um, Daryl Dick, Sin or Rick or a dead guy, also known as a zombie, also known as a walker. Okay. But don't they give you like a little corner so like I could start it? Like, do I have to do everything myself? Okay, we have. Oh, sorry, we didn't get an action figure. We got the uh, the coal for Christmas here. We got just a piece of paper saying what we could have got. No, we got, um, we got a dead Rick. He's fucking decapitated, delimbed, and everything else. Oh, oh, wait, no, we do have to do everything ourselves. We even have to put it together. You know what I say about that? Go fuck yourself. 
We got a Rick toy. We got a pin exclusive. I don't know what that is. It's either a box or... Uh, I don't even know. I don't know what that is. It's something. And if you guys remember from an episode far, far away or long, long ago, um, Daryl Dixon, I believe, is the one that had the ears on the necklace and they wanted to give us soap on a rope. Still including Deadpool's humor, even though we're now on to the Walking Dead part of the box. Very, very cool. Um, <laughs> soap on a rope. You know, I'm gonna put this in the shower and see what the rest of the family has to say when they go and uh, bathe themselves. So like, what the fuck is he into now? Okay, so we got soap on a rope, and then the last and least, you know, we have How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse, a wade into Deadpool, or the Deadpool, and questions and answers with zombies. Okay, basically a bunch of stuff in a book, which I, I don't like to put things together. I don't like to read, so. Thank you guys so much for jumping in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been an honor and a pleasure having you here with me today. I'll see you guys in the next video or broadcast or prolapse. Either way, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Take it easy. Ta-ta. And as always, peace.